Welcome to the chapter Animal Fiber. Production of Silk Silk fibers are obtained from animal fibers. That is, silkworm spin the silk fibers. There are various steps involved in silk production. The whole process of obtaining silk starting from silk moth is called sericulture. Mainly four stages are involved in the process of silk production. They are moth to egg, egg to cocoon, cocoon to fiber, reeling to weaving. Click each tab to know more. Moth to egg. In the production of silk, moths are collected and those moths are kept in grill mesh boxes in separate rooms. These silk moths are also known as Bombex Mori and some people call them Chilakalu. The moths lay hundreds of eggs which are very small in size and the eggs of silk moth worms are called seeds. Note, a female moth lays around 500 eggs in one go and dies. People allow these eggs or seeds to hatch in special chambers like over mats on beds of chopped mulberry leaves to get small worms. Sometimes, people buy silk moths to produce eggs in some places. The places at which silk moths are sold are called greenages. The biggest growing center is located at Horsley Hills in Chitto district. Here the eggs of silk moth worms are stored carefully on the strips of cloth or paper and then sold to the silk farmers. Egg to cocoon Silk farmers keep the eggs or seeds under hygienic conditions and at a suitable temperature. After some time, these eggs hatch into larvae, which are also known as caterpillars or silkworms. The tiny and white-colored silkworms or caterpillars are placed in the trays along with freshly chopped mulberry leaves. These worms eat the mulberry leaves almost continuously. During feeding, each caterpillar sheds its skin four times and becomes bigger in size. After 30 to 35 days, the caterpillars stop eating and settle at a particular place. At this time, these worms are transferred into big-sized cane frames called Chendrikalu. Now, the caterpillar weaves a net to hold itself by moving its mouth from side to side and produces a fiber-like substance. This substance becomes strong when it is exposed to air and heat. This net looks like a closed sack and covers the whole body of the caterpillar. This is called cocoon or larva, patukayalu. If the cocoons are left to themselves, the cocoons develop into moths and fly away. When the moths come out from the cocoon, the thread gets damaged. So, farmers kill the larva inside the cocoon by a process called stifling by putting a lot of cocoons in a steam oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Stifling process helps to store the cocoons for a long time and this process is usually done in reeling centers. These cocoons are kept in sealed bags and sold at the cocoon market. Majorly, cocoons markets are located at Hindupur, Madanapalli, Dharmavaram, Kadiri, Palamaneru, Raichoti and Hyderabad. Cocoon to Fiber In this stage, a pile of cocoons are collected and boiled in water to kill the larva or pupae inside the cocoon. Here the boiling water not only kills the insects inside the cocoon, but also dissolves a gummy substance that holds the cocoons. At that time, the cocoons are dried and brushed to remove the coarse outer portion which consists of coarse filaments. Now, the silk thread is collected from the cocoons by a process called reeling the silk. Reeling is done with special machines called reelers and twisters. The resulting silk fiber is carefully collected from the cocoon and nearly 3 to 18 of such threads are wound together to make yarn from it 
which is reeled. This yarn is called raw silk and it can be dyed into various colors. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are woven into a variety of silk fabrics by weavers. Mainly, the reeling centers are located at places such as Nandi Kutkur, Hyderabad, Karim Nagar, etc. In only a few days, a single silkworm spins a cocoon from which a silk thread up to 600 meters in length can be removed. However, it still takes about 2,500 cocoons to make half a kilogram of silk. Reeling to Weaving the processing of silk is the twisting of one or more threads of raw silk into a strand sufficiently strong for weaving or knitting. This procedure is called throwing. People wave silk fabric by using silk yarn on hand looms, which is the traditional occupation. These people get the silk yarn from the reeling centers to weave a variety in saris. Pochampalli Pattu and Dharmavaram are famous types of saris produced by our state. Pochampalli Pattu is also called Thai and Dai or Jamdani. Dharmavaram is famous for its wide border and rich butta or dots. Pochampalli is the place where threads and colors find their way into the hands of skillful weavers and meanders into the market as beautiful saris and dress material as the most typical weaving material. Pochampalli is also known as the Silk City of India. Banaras, Kanchipuram, Narayan Pet, Kottakota, Pochampalli are all types of silk fabrics which get their names from the places where they are made. Apart from that, there are some more varieties of silks based on the moth species such as Tassar silk, Muga silk, Kosa silk, Eri silk and so on. People involved in the process suffer from skin as well as respiratory problems due to continuous handling of the silkworm and the silk fibers.